It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Cheap and steep on the work surface. What happened? Hello everyone. Hi. Hi Mrs B. Hello. And Bav. Uh, welcome to another Cheap versus Steep. I like how I said cheap and then you said steep. It's kind of like sums our life up, doesn't it? Basically, if you don't know, this is the playlist where we take the same recipe and buy budget ingredients from the budget supermarket and then go to the luxury supermarket, which was a journey in itself this week, uh, and buy the more expensive, luxurious equivalent and learnt in the hope that it actually won't make a difference whatsoever and that hopefully as many cheap ingredients can be used and it will not affect the taste so we can all live on a budget lifestyle and enjoy our time together. We're doing eggnog today. Do you yes. like eggnog? Don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Don't know. Do you like Christmas? Don't know. I love Christmas. Mrs. B loves Christmas. So I've been to the cheap supermarket, the expensive supermarket. We will run through the ingredients as we go with the aim that you will like eggnog and hopefully like the cheaper one with maybe some tweaks and enhancements of the more expensive one if necessary by the end of today's video. Sounds great. As always, I've done my like crazy list of maths and stuff, which I tried to get your help for, didn't I? And you were like, <laughs> We've got a bit of a boo-boo to start. Um, we are going to separate the eggs, okay? So Mrs. B is starting separating the steep eggs. I have just noticed <laughs> the eggs that I bought genuinely from the cheap shop are missing an egg. There are nine in there and there's actually a bit of an egg shortage uh, in the UK at the moment. These are the only ones I could get. Normally there's this big 15 pack and actually the next level up, they were all sold out. So I got these, no wonder that was just these left, there's nine in there. A pack of those is £1.69, which works out at 16 pence an egg. And the opposite, which Mrs B is cracking right now, we've not gone for the golden ones. Today I've tried to be as fair as I can. They work out at 59p each or £3.55 for six. For the eggs alone, we are paying 3.7 times more per egg. We have definitely been done there, look. I can't believe that, I seen it and I thought. <gasps> and one's already cracked, look at that. Mm. Uh. <laughs> no, I was like, oh wow, my luck is in. There is one pack of the eggs left. And that will be why. <laughs> the steep look more yellowy and the cheaper looking more gold, like orangey. All right, so what I've got here is our two sugars, which are gonna get beaten together with the egg yolks. So we need 150 grams of sugar. Uh, the Steep uh, has a bag that is 500 grams. It's like a fair trade uh, sugar. Yeah. One pound 60 for 500 grams. Ooh. Or a cheap one kilo, so double the amount sugar, 95 pence. It doesn't sound like much of a difference in price. It doesn't, but this is how they get you, right? Because right. you're getting like half of the volume, 3.3 times more. Ooh. I don't that think that's going to make a difference. And now there it looks exactly the same. It does. E exactly, exactly the same. So we're just going to uh, whip this together uh, until it's uh, a little bit paler in colour. So it shouldn't take long, particularly with the electric whisk. How pale is pale? Oh my gosh, yours is yellow. Yeah, mine's pale. Yours is, yeah, but look at the colour difference there. Mine's yeah. pale as well. You inspecting my yolks? Yeah, just making sure you don't look properly. Oh, no yolking around. No. All right, let's crack on. All right, when it comes to the milk, we've they're both full a, fat milks. We've got a pint of milk, which is 568 millilitres here. Yes. For the cheap. Yes, and that was 95p. 95. We need 473 mils, which is slightly less than that. Okay. Uh, and that's just actually interesting because it's not much of a price difference. No. And this is a different one okay. from an organic brand. Yep, so this is the steep one and you get a litre here. For £2.10. In a nice cardboard, um, better than plastic bottle. Better for the better than, Yep, 1.2 <laughs> times more. Uh, whilst you do that, the cinnamon, we need for the cinnamon, right? For the mm -hmm. cheap, you get 40 grams in there. 40 grams, yep. which is 59p. And in the steep, you get 32 grams. 32, so you get eight grams less. Wow, yep. look at the size difference in that. One pound 30 for that, 2.74 times more. And just for the two grams, Okay, yep. it would cost 4p for this yep. and 12p for that. So you're going to pay 8 pence more That's for half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's a big difference. I wonder if they actually smell or any, any difference. I was about to say that. Let's have a smell test. That smells like cinnamon to me. That's got a bit of a sweeter smell. 
It has. That's interesting. It is. Half a teaspoon. 8p. <laughs> Adds up mine, doesn't it? Uh, hang on, hang on, it's different. Tea yeah. is ground cinnamon. Yes. The steep yeah. says true cinnamon. Ooh. That's ground cinnamon and that's true cinnamon. So you've been conned there. Right. <laughs> Damn it. They got me with the false cinnamon again. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what was false. Cloves are supposed to go in here. But Ooh, to be fair, yeah, but you can't get them. You can't get them at the uh, cheap supermarket. Oh, good. I'm glad you didn't get them. Oh, good. I told them about that. And that's <laughs> told it. Them not to sell that. <laughs> so, uh, to be fair to it, we're not putting cloves in either of them. So, we're just going to warm this up. Yes. So, it's actually this milk that is going to temper these eggs. Then if you spotted that, folks, that was my subtle reference to Crocodile Dundee, that traditional Christmas movie. It smells very Christmassy. Yeah, yours smells really true. I know. Yours smells fake. <laughs> so I'm going to use this hot mixture and pour it, about a third of it, well, just maybe a half, actually, a little bit more, whisking it together, okay, to slowly temper it. You want to kind of slowly incorporate it if you can, but it looks like it's been all right. So we've got two choices here. We can either slowly keep incorporating it in, or if you're happy enough, you can just dump it straight back in the pan once you've done, like, maybe half of it. So it's sort of slowly tempered. So I am going to do that, add it back into that pan like that, back on the heat there. All right, and then if you want to do the same, I'm going to come around here so it'll be slightly better to show this, but yeah, look at that colour difference. Oh my gosh. What is that? It also doesn't look like it's got any eggs in it at all. What happened? It just looks like milk. <laughs> oh no! There was eggs? definitely egg. We, saw, we all saw it, right? You did use the egg yolk, didn't you? Not the white. <laughs> So we've got the old uh, thermometer in there, up to 160. The reason you get it to 160 though is to stop uh, it curdling, okay? So 160 is nice and hot and ultimately we have this cold anyway. But we will do that one first, uh, then the uh, cheap. But it's interesting to see that colour difference. Yeah. Because we would normally get that with the cheap versus steep as you've seen on the playlist and if you've missed any so far. We've used like golden yolks in the past and we would normally get that comparison. But it was actually the cheap yolks that looked, well, more golden in a way so i don't know i think this is how it's meant to look i don't think it's meant to look this pale i know what what oh no look underneath i see glimmer of beige ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great album <laughs> um you would normally pass it for a sieve but because we haven't got the cloves we might as well just chuck it in there and also if you do curdle it that's one way that you could probably get them out pass it for a sieve but uh yeah yeah that looks great so that has actually now got a chill. Uh, it is a very cold day, so we're probably going to stick that in our garage. This does smell a bit like custard. Yeah, I guess that is how you make custard. Oh no, this is curdled. This one is curdled. It has curdled. Oh, look at that. Bottom. What's going on? Right, well. I get a sieve. Let's see, hopefully we won't get any. It might, oh, there we go. Oh, not many lumps. Looks, yours looks like rice pudding. So that's why it's curdled a little bit. We're getting that out, keep it nice and smooth. So that on its own would actually be a nice eggnog, but we've got a few other things to enhance the flavor and the price. But we do have to let that chill for at least an hour. So, uh, oh, really? yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah. See you in an hour. All right, folks, we are in my garage. Look, there's some of our bikes for evidence. And on the floor, because it is absolutely freezing today, uh is both the mixtures okay we're going to put some cling film on it make sure no nasty things get in it but this is going to cool it down really really quick like a natural freezer so uh don't have to do that just uh let it cool to room temperature and stick it in the fridge if uh if you're being normal cheers well actually whilst they're chilling we'll just talk about the enhancers all right we've shown some of the vanilla extract on a previous video and it's actually quite mind-blowingly different this stuff is super good uh on the steep that one for 60 mm -hmm. milliliters is five pounds 75. It did win a great taste award back in 2020. It did, but it's a really well-known brand apparently and like a lot of people were raving about it. So yes, I don't know if I can justify personally if I'm making a cake, but it, it could make a massive difference. Did you know this vanilla extract is flammable? Is it? So that's five pounds 75 for that. Uh, and you get 60 milliliters. In this bottle here, your standard one, uh, 38 mil, 60p. Mm. Oh, bargain. 6.1 times more. 
Wow. The oh. cheap would be 7p for a teaspoon. The steep, 48 pence for a teaspoon. So you're paying 41p more if you wanted. I can't even open it. The unopenable vanilla. I... Oh my god, it burns your nostrils. <laughs> smell it. Oh, crikey, yeah. That, that does just... not smell. That smells flammable. That's, yeah. It really does. Oh gosh. So it's not thick. You're literally pouring away Sorry. pennies there. Oh my gosh, that you can smell like alcohol in that. Yeah, oh God, is that gonna ruin it? Oh is no, that's just... not gonna ruin it. Oh no. That is one thing with this whole recipe. I think we're gonna really struggle to work out what it is that makes it thing. Yeah. So my, my, my hope for this recipe is that it's like, cheap is fine. Yeah, I think there's- <laughs> Did you just fart? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you just do a very delicate pop? <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> I'll leave that up to debate. Anyhow, over to the nutmeg, which for this, I struggle with a little bit. Not massively, but it's actually, I thought it'd be the same price nutmeg as the cinnamon on the cheap, because it's the same weight, but this is actually uh, 75p uh, versus the 59p for cinnamon. So it's obviously, um, I don't know. You struggled to say mash. Yeah. <laughs> you had to I had to buy whole nutmeg. Okay. They didn't sell like the, the ground nutmeg. It all sold out at the uh, steep, but it was okay. the same price and the same weight. Although you're not going to get all of it out of that, are you? So the cheap nutmeg was 75p. The uh, steep was £1.30, which is three times more. Cheap going in there. Oh, that's junk. Yeah, then if we just grate, what that'll you... be great. Okay, it might take a bit of time. You're grating away pennies there. Hey. Going <laughs> in. <laughs> that's true. And at least we know this is true nutmeg. Look. One of the things I like about this video is um, you can actually compare side by side ingredients that you don't normally get to do. And if you do look at the difference, Crocodile Dundee again, yeah. look, ground nutmeg, and this is the whole. Very speckly, almost looks like salt and pepper. Yeah. This is part of my thinking with the video though, like the intensity of this. I, I'm, I think, you might prefer the milder ones. Yeah, I think I might. And that's kind of my hope with this. It's like, does it need to be justified? But like, I mean, yeah. I reckon yeah, that is so like really proper intense. spice. And then you suddenly realize how little smell is in that. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's nutmeg. But it's enough though, because sometimes nut nutmeg can be quite overpowering. Yeah. Anyhow, speaking of overpowering. Oh no. You can add bourbon, you can add rum, and both to eggnog. I couldn't get bourbon in the cheap supermarket, so we went for rum. I love dark rum anyway. Christmas is coming. Oh no. This might be one of the most expensive purchases I've ever done. Oh my goodness me. We need Look at this. Two tablespoons of dark rum. Is that all? Yes. And it's optional. Uh, so £10.29 for a spiced rum. Okay, bargain. £44 for that one. <laughs> I feel like I'm touching gold. It was so expensive that I went in the more upmarket supermarket, uh, which I am getting followed around by the security guard. It's a long story, I shared that with Patreon. But the rum was so expensive that they sold it on the shelf. Mm. It was just the box. Oh. And the customer service person went out the back and I stood there for a while and the security guard kept looping me going, what's he doing? And I was like, I was gonna say to him, I'm just waiting for rum, mate. Which, which would have sounded even worse. And then they couldn't give me to me in my basket. They had to take it right to the front to the customer service desk where another security guard and a customer service person was. Right. I then had to pay for it. They yeah. gave me the receipt, which they then signed. Can you see that? Yeah. Which meant I could then go to the customer service desk and they would give me the bottle, which is oh. in there. Okay. So, uh, would you like to reveal the bottle? Because it is rather epic looking indeed. And I love spiced rum and coke. That is oh my favourite thing. Look at that. Goodness hey? me. That is a fancy ass bottle. A fancy ass bottle? Are we going for that? Are we <laughs> family friendly? Aged in casks in Barbados for many years, this rum is then sailed across the ocean in barrels to the southwest of France to be further matured in small French oak casks. It unveils a sophisticated palette of chocolate vanilla, ripe banana, roasted cocoa, and a, and a hint of fresh mango notes. Even, even the, the seal looks posh. Oh no. Bye, uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Don't get me wrong, we've had some epic salads with that uh, olive oil that I bought on a previous Cheap Versus Steep in, yeah. in the canister. Well, this really does feel like a treat. And most importantly, 
all of those flavors that are in there are probably going to potentially bypass the nutmeg and the cinnamon as well just just feel the top feel it oh wow it's been like sanded and varnished and mm. oh well, that doesn't smell too bad actually you can... it just smells like the vanilla yeah it actually smells more milder i wonder if like with the more budget ones if they over egg it and enhance it with more stronger flavors or something oh gosh yes Oh, oh that's wow. wild. That was what I was thinking. Maybe they do that. That, that does smell like cheap rum. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. Is that burning your insides? That is extremely strong. I'm not getting any chocolatey notes there or anything. Oh, your face has gone very red. <laughs> oh, I do not like that. I mean, I'd like it with Coke. Coke. Don't get me wrong. It is a dark rum. Or oh, over ice. Yes. Are you going to have it warm? Well, we're nice? going to have it cold in the nog, aren't we? In the nog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that difference. Oh, you can smell it. It just smells really like cheap. Cheap. <laughs> That's going to be like vile, surely. Don't say you prefer that. It's smoother. Smoother? That what is like less than it. That other one. That just reminds me of a cheap night out. <laughs> I thought you liked Pizza Hut. <laughs> We just had an executive production meeting yep. uh, and we've decided. We're not gonna do the egg whites on top. No, because no. we feel like it will actually distract the actual main body of this thing. You would basically whip the egg whites, mm -hmm. uh, let's say the eggs are pasteurized so it's safe enough with a bit of sugar as well. And then you could uh, like put it on top, make it look pretty, yeah. finish it with some more cinnamon. So it's that egg white sugar and the cinnamon that we could potentially be a distraction to the rest of the actual thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's where we're heading. So just to reiterate, it is 4.2 times more for that rum and 33 pounds 71 difference between the two bottles uh by the way that is a, a terry's chocolate orange cake that i've made it's the next video after this one a triple terry's chocolate orange cake uh, so do keep an eye out for that and uh we can confirm <laughs> Folks, just editing the video in my office and uh, one of the files is corrupt. There's a scene after the garage. I did change my battery, I wonder if that's why. Uh, and basically we have lost the scene of adding the cream in. So it was nice and cool from the garage, that's when you add the cream in. And the good thing is it was one of the most minimal comparisons. Um, they were both pretty much the supermarket owned brands, weren't organic or anything like that. So it's £1.15 versus £2. So 1.73 times more or 67 pence extra uh, just to add it to the recipe. And in our opinion, it made no difference whatsoever. It was basically both double or aka heavy cream all right uh so <laughs> if you're wondering where that went now back to the video uh just imagine the cream being in it all right cheers that is nice and cold okay so you keep that cold until you want to serve it which for us is now look at that that looks much more delicate oh it smells really eggy too oh i don't know if i'm gonna like this it smells really eggy are you serious? Oh, you're gonna ladle it in? Oh, I'm gonna pour it. Oh no, that's gonna be messy. <gasps> oh, no it's not. Oh no, mine's more messy. <gasps> that is two very different colors, isn't it? Cute. And why the heck has yours suddenly turned into a Guinness? Got a head know. on it. Look at that. Ooh. Do you like it? I really like that. It's really sweet. You can't taste the rum in there. Mm. That's quite dangerous. You can taste, it's really creamy. It's like a, a milkshake. Yeah, yeah, it, honestly, that was a really good way of summarizing it. It's like a, a less cocoa-y, but it's the texture of a milkshake. It is. But slightly cinnamon mm. autumnal. You can't taste the alcohol. Dangerous. dangerous. I do like that. Mm. It's really sweet. I this needs this. to be amazing to make it worthwhile. Do you know what, that is, it tasted a lot better than I thought. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Right, here we go. What are you thinking? The suspense is killing me, like genuinely, I don't have no idea. Mm, you try that. Okay. It's more, you can taste the egg more. I would expect it to taste like this. Yes. Because you can actually taste the egg. That you can just taste is sugar. There is a lot more depth and variety of yeah. flavors going on in there. It feels like an actual journey to Barbados to buy a very mm. expensive bottle of rum. I don't think the rum is a massive difference. But I think it's actually those fresh mm. spices. I think, and the eggs. And the eggs as well, mm. again. But that is actually on its own. I do like it. If I, if you didn't have that, this oh, one Oh no, try it again. If you didn't have this one to compare it to. Oh, 
It's really sweet. That does taste cheap and that does taste steep. Yeah, and that looks like egg as well, doesn't it? Yeah. That looks a lot... What the heck happened to that? No idea. Did we put cocoa powder in? But I'm not sure I would... I'd want to spend... So it's 4.25 more for that. But to just make the recipe alone from the ingredients we've used, mm. that, just for the quantity we made, is £5.59 more. That's a lot more, isn't it? It's not the cream, because they were pretty much, as we saw, pretty similar. Yeah. It, the milk, I don't think it would. I think it's down to the eggs. And I think it's the spices as well. Yeah. The spices in a freshly ground nutmeg, I think, made a massive difference. Mm. It just tasted so much more vibrant. But I think it's the egg for that more lightness and delicateness. What was really sugary, apart from the sugar? Vanilla. The vanilla, yeah. Sweet. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what it could be. Because that tastes, you can really taste that yeah, Like syrupy, yeah. Whereas this one, you've got that vanilla flavouring, but it's not so... Yeah. It's not really sweet. Oh, no. I really, really wanted to... Mm. I really wanted this one to be... Uh, but it does, though, doesn't it? In isolation, if you have it, it is an eggnog. It's just really, really sweet. Yeah. I think if you made this, like you said, for people, they wouldn't know any different. Yeah. And it's just, like four times more to have that but it is kind of worth it so we're saying eggs vanilla and fresh spices i'm just saying steep <laughs> i normally like the cheap for me today actually that i can't i can't not i wanted to hate that after that it's like nothing's gonna surpass it i did too i thought this was gonna be too eggy for me oh yeah and it and it's amazing an omelette in a glass <laughs> Right, so that's it. Uh, keep the cheap versus steep ideas coming through. Uh, check out the playlist. There's lots of other fun ones on there. I think one of my favourites was the cooked breakfast, actually. Mm. We did a Christmas one last year with mince pies. We did. One of the first ones we did was brownies. Yes, that was yeah. the first one. Very good. So keep the ideas coming in. Do check out the playlist. You find it nice and interesting. Ideally, we always want the uh, cheap to win, but we do tend to find that it's normally a bit of a balance between the two, and we love making these videos and hope you like watching them too. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And uh, yeah, take care, have a good Christmas. If I don't see you, because we won't. We won't see we'll you. We never see you. We just stay in a little cupboard. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye. Did you just do a very delicate pop? <laughs> I think he did. <laughs>